नमस्कार एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो अबाउट अर्गो वर्कफ्लो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पैरामीटर्स इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच माय वीडियो ऑफ अर्लियर वीडियो अबाउट बेसिक्स ऑफ अर्गो एयरफ्लो एंड हाउ टू सेट इट अप प्लीज गो एंड वॉच पार्ट वन ऑफ अर्गो वर्कफ्लो ऑन माई चैनल so today as i said <clears throat> we'll be discussing the parameters and we'll be following this link uh, to talk about parameters so what are the parameters basically this is a capability for you to pass some value some configuration or anything uh, to argo workflow <clears throat> so we we'll start with our first example so this is a example you know you can see it's a type workflow we have gone through this in earlier video the key thing to note here is in the entry point after the entry point you can see there's a arguments and under arguments we have defined we have defined parameters and parameters has name and value and then in the templates so entry point is this uh, template name and uh, this template has the input parameters with the name so this uh, argument parameters name and inputs parameters name is same so this will take the value which is passed to this which is hello world then the container is uh, same we'll say and here <coughs> we are Uh, you know, passing the arguments, which is the uh, parameter value passed to uh, this message. So inputs dot parameters dot message, inputs dot inputs dot parameters uh, <clears throat> uh, dot message, which is the name of. Then this message has some value, which is this value. So it should print that. So let's run this. So I had created a uh, workflow for this already. So I will run this. so this is the uh, let's see the uh, yaml file this yaml file it is exactly same oh, not this sorry this is the workflow i don't have parameters here my mistake so <clears throat> you can see params params workflow so this has a parameters it's a copy paste of <coughs> this workflow um and it should print the value which is being passed uh, to this container are uh, from uh, arguments uh, parameters uh, uh, thing so let's run this so argo submit argo submit then um, i will pass this file name what was the file name for this p r a m s params then workflow dot sorry workflow dot yaml and then i will just watch it here so let it run uh, i will go to the ui as i explained in the previous video and this ui i'll click on this so this parameters hello world parameters finished i can see the value of this clicking on logs it says hello from sandeep and what i had passed to this so let's see this uh cat and this is hello from sandeep so it printed that so that Ex that uh, explains about this example. You can go through this. <clears throat> in addition to this, uh, passing this, uh, you know, hard coding these parameters in the YAML file, you can always uh, <coughs> pass these parameters from the command line also. When I say command line, it assume that it is via command line and via API as well. So you can pass this uh, via command line. You have to say, uh, you know, with hyphen uh, p command, hyphen p option, and the name of the parameter and the value of the parameter and if you see the so i had printed the help arco submit hyphen hyphen l help and you can see the explanation of this hyphen p pass an input parameter correct so i had written a, uh, sorry i had written a program for this as well <clears throat> so this is params data so control v and you can oh, what did i do params uh param let's see this get data in my oh a one second okay i might have made a mistake let me do vim vim param data dot yaml i think uh, this is uh, some mistake i made while editing this file let's do one thing what we'll do is uh no sorry 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 i shouldn't this was strong let me undo that i can say param 
data. Uh, this is what I wanted here. So we'll go back to the first params uh, workflow ML and we'll pass hyphen P parameter. So I had run this earlier. Let's see if it appears. Uh, control R, control R, control R. Uh, this one, you know, not this. Control R and uh, params params workflow.ml and I'm passing this message and changing the value. It was hello from Sandeep. Now I'm saying uh, it's a config param one. So let me run this the same, you know, params uh, workflow ML I am uh, submitting to Argo. So let's run this and let's go to the UI. <clears throat> and click on this, still running, click on this finished C logs and say it's config param one. This is what I have was I had passed from the command line. It's config param one. And you can see that from 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 there <laughs> that command line went somewhere up. Anyway, so this this is what I had passed. It's config param one. Now what I will do next is <clears throat> I will just follow this page. And uh, you can pass the parameters uh, two examples we already seen. If it is part of YAML, second, it is part of the command line. And third, if there are multiple parameters. And so instead of passing through command line, it is you can put this in a file also, YAML or JSON file, and you can pass that file as an input. And this is the format you uh, can put. So this is a param one, value one, and then whatever name of the param, param, first parameter, the value of this first parameter, and so on. So I will uh, follow the same. So let's see. Oh, control R parameters. Control R. All right. P R M P. Control C. And you can see this. Uh, let's see the parameter. This is the file which I will pass. So this has this message param from input file. And uh, I'll be passing to this uh, params workflow.yml. And you can see that um, uh, control R, para, parameters. What's the name of this file? Param data. Param data. Let's see if I have in my history. No, no problem. I will say argo, a r g o submit. Then same params underscore workflow dot. YML. I will not do watch now. Uh, <clears throat> then follow this uh, hyphen hyphen p r a m e t e r file is equal to what's the file name? Param data. Param data dot y a m l. Correct. Now I'll run this and I'll see this here. So this still running, still running, and I see the logs. And still waiting so it says param from input file because this is what i had given in the input file cat param data param from input file and i have passed in the workflow you know params workflow yaml so this message this file had uh, this message as key and value of this so whatever is the key uh, whatever is defined here the name message uh, and the value of this got overridden by the value which was there in the uh, parameter file, input parameter file. So the second example, now let's go back. <laughs> now, uh, so this we have already done. Uh, so we already given the parameter file as input. Now, um, you can uh, have through command line, you can not only override the parameters, but you can also override the entry point. So as we discussed in previous video, entry point is uh, you know, there are different templates you can define in your workflow definition and entry point is the name of the template, which is the first execution, first entry point, like that template will execute first. So let's see. So now what we had given was, uh, uh, let's see the, you know, uh, our original uh, params dot workflow dot E-R-A-M-S workflow dot E-M-L. And it had one entry point, right? Uh, so entry point is the, what is the name of this template? And this was the name. Now let's see the other file. Uh, S2. So here I have, what I have done is 
if you see this file starts from here, I have created two templates. One is with this name, we'll say, and second is we'll say two. And I have created uh, two parameters, message and message two. By default, the uh, value of message is hello from Sandeep one, value of message two is hello from Sandeep two. And in the in the we'll say parameter, I'm taking the input as message, uh, parameter name as message. And in the other template, we'll say two, I'm taking input parameter name as message two. And in both, I'm printing the message. Like in uh, first template, I'm printing input parameter message. In second template, I'm printing inputs parameter message two because that's the name um, you know I had given in the second template. Now what we'll do is I will go, uh, we'll just run default. We'll not override any params, we'll not override any entry point. We'll just run this file as is. Then what you should see as an output because remember this is the entry point we'll say this will say and it will print this uh, parameter message and what is the value of this message let's see if this gets printed or not so we'll just you know i have given the instructions how to run the first one so let's copy this this is the command actually copy then run this paste i'm not giving watch so now let's go to the ui again this workflow is running go here <clears throat> see the logs and you say hello from sandeep one and uh, what was the uh, message entry point template uh, input message is hello from sandeep one so that's first one now what we'll do is we'll override the entry point to the second template and see if it works or not so I have, this is a command argo submit. This is the YAML file name. And I'm saying hyphen hyphen entry point. This is the name of the second entry point. And this second entry point is printing message two. And this is the value of this message two. Hello from Sandeep two. Let's see what happens. So I'll just run this. Copy. Paste. Go back to the UI. Still running. Go here. See the log. Hello from Sandeep two. So it invoked, it let us uh, override the entry point also. Now what we'll do is the third command will override both entry point and param. So we'll use the second entry point, but instead of uh, printing this message, which is hello from Sandeep two, we'll put, uh, we'll uh, pass another message. This is message two from the command line. And remember the key of this message is message two because the a will say to second template whose entry point we are giving now through command line takes message to as a <coughs> parameter. Okay, so let's run this. Copy. Paste. Uh, okay, my mistake. The file name is incorrect. The YAML file name. I should have changed this. So it is. P R A M S and two entry points. So run this. Go back to the UI. Still running. Still running. See the logs. It's waiting. And this is message two because this is what we had passed through the command line. Let's say I pass some other message. Just you know, uh, some random. I just type something. Correct. Let's run this and see if this message gets printed or not. Let's see the logs still waiting and it printed this message. <laughs> so that's about this uh, for uh, Argo workflow parameters and entry points. Thank you for watching.